Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily, this is the Embreezy channel, and we are doing Adventures Under My Seek skincare edition. And I am drinking a Diet Coke because my roommate bought like a six pack of bottles, and he bought them for me, and I started drinking soda again maybe like a week ago. I'm um, probably gonna stop again, but honestly, like I'm enjoying it. Oh, it's so good. It's so quenching. We're just going to fire through. We're gonna fire through this. Everything's gonna be fine. I have my Diet Coke. Okay, to get me kind of excited, I'm gonna start off the video with one thing I ordered from Timu. When I saw it, I had to have it. It was free shipping. I think Timu, Timu is always free shipping, if I'm not mistaken. But I got this little Timu package. So let's see what I got. I think y'all are gonna like this if you have if we have the same kind of style. <gasps> yes, it's a really pretty pink color. Guess what it is? Guess what it is? It is a skirt, and these are my favorite type of skirts. Is these pleated, um, this thick, like stretchy material, and it's freaking cute, you guys. And I can't wait to wear it. And I will show you. I will wear this in my next video, maybe. Um, I like this because it's like straight across. It's not like triangle. Okay, so first things first. I have this Glow Recipe. I do enjoy and like Glow Recipe. Uh, I haven't used their stuff in a long time, but this is, I haven't even finished this. Um, this is the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. So you clean off your makeup and I still have quite a bit in here. Like I could really make that last, but I feel like it makes me break out. I have this weird feeling that it breaks me out, but um, it has papaya enzymes, so you can, if it, if you do get this or you have this and you enjoy it and you don't break out from it, um, this is really good to like, you know, melt off your makeup and then let it sit for like a minute because it's got the papaya enzymes to exfoliate. That was a good catch. This is a good one if it doesn't break you out. Um, it melts your makeup off really well. I just feel like I can't use this anymore, so I'm going to just get rid of that. And then another thing that's like the same color is the Pacifica Glow Pacifica Glow Baby Brightening Peel Pads. And I like these. I am currently using these. I don't use them every day, but I also use like these pads too. These are the Noxima Ultimate Clear Anti-Blemish Pads. So this one is a eucalyptus mint one. Um, I use these interchangeably because I like to wash my face and then go over it with one of these to get all the makeup out of my hairline out just like off my face um so i'll use these i like them they don't break me out obviously this one's like an acne treatment um and i use they look like this so these are the noxima ones and they smell very strong um yeah i don't know if everyone would like that this one smells like like citrus Next is a face wash. I might be done with this, but it's the Innisfree Clarifying Cleansing Foam with Bija Seed Oil. Um, it's just like a face foaming wash, and I really like this. Um, it kept my skin really clear. Um, it's a Korean brand, and it's got salicylic acid and rose crystal, and it removes uh, makeup. So it makes your face feel really squeaky clean. It's kind of like the um, Checks and Balances by origin cleanser but i don't like that one because that one makes my skin like super squeaky clean this is kind of like that like a mild version of that and this does if this gets in your eye it freaking burns okay like it's not eye friendly like um the one that i'm using now which is a cetaphil one um but i like this because it kept my face really clear and i would repurchase and then i have a face scrub right here that i have to finish up it's the kylie skin walnut face scrub this is the second time i've I was about to say download. Um, this is the second time I bought this and I really quite like it. I don't know if it breaks me out or not. That's why I'm kind of like iffy about it, but it's very scrubby, really good. Um, you can get this at Ulta and I have repurchased it and it's possible that I would repurchase again. The packaging is lovely. This is so cute. So this is the Ula Henriksen Glow 2.0 Dark Spot Toner. And I sell this a lot at my job. Like I advise people to use this all the time. Um, because it clears your skin and it, um, it undoes your pore, like, um, refines your pores. So I really like it. It really does work. Um, 
it, this have this has been sitting here for like a really long time so i'm not going to use it on my face i'm going to use it like on my chest area on the body um to clarify and i really quite like it i actually enjoy the way it smells it has a really strong smell though it smells like witch hazel or something like that i don't know if this has that in it but Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna use it. Next is a sunscreen. This is the only body sunscreen that I own at the moment, but I wanna get a different one. This is the H-E-B brand Pink Peony SPF 50. I like this, it smells like um, Bath and Body Works Sweet Pea. And it smells really good and it's cute and everything, but I wanna try the aerosol kind of um, sunscreen because I don't like, I don't like putting lotion on my body. I don't know what it is. I would rather have an oil or like a spray thing. Um, I, the, the body one that I really wanna get is the vacation brand at Ulta. You can get it at Ulta and it's the baby oil one and it has no mineral oil, but it's like an SPF 50 and it's like oil, like it's like an oil. So I like putting oil on my body, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is a cleansing gel by Sephora. So it looks like this. We got this in gratis and I was like, not gonna use it because I, I I don't love Sephora brand skincare that much from what I've used. Um, like the eye cream, I don't like the eye cream because it pills up under your makeup and it, it's really bad. Um, but, um, and you know what? Um, Sephora skincare is made by the same people that make Dior, I believe, or something like that. Um, I don't, I don't know about that, but um, I mean, it's true, but like, I don't really care about that um because it doesn't i don't like the way it performs a lot of time but this one was actually pretty good the cleanser was actually pretty good it did take off my makeup not every bit of makeup but it took off a lot of makeup now this one will take off all your freaking makeup all your eye makeup everything like i freaking love this i'm probably gonna repurchase it again next thing is the strivectin tightening neck cream this stuff is pricey and this stuff we got in grass for free and I, if i didn't get it for free in grass i probably would have never tried it but it looks like this and I've almost used all of it and it's really good. Um, it is really good, like my neck looks good. This is good stuff. Highly recommend if you are a more mature client or more mature um, viewer, I highly recommend this. Um, Stryvectin. Next is actually in a box, is actually a toner, toning spray that I have a new bottle of and i'm going to keep this this is from this is the age reverses beauty essence tonic spray by dr c tuna which is actually a brand in the brand pharmacy which is an online business um thing that i used to be a part of and i like this it's like a spa water like it's really good next thing i adore i freaking love this um this is the edgemont honey manuka honey mgo 83 raw and unpasteurized multi-floral honey um, it's just honey, so um, I like putting milk and honey on my face, and this is very sweet. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good. It's so good. I love honey so much. I will cleanse and then put this on my face with milk and my face will be nice and glowy in like 30 minutes or like less than that it really makes your face like glow so i freaking i love this i bought this for 12.99 at tj maxx make sure to get the real the really good honey raw um mgo 83 that kind of thing um i don't know what number is best for the mgo part of it but this one is very raw so it's very like powerful next is the uh the neutrogena oil free acne stress control power cream wash i like this but i'm not gonna put it on my face well i don't know i don't know why i stopped using this like i don't know it smells kind of weird now i might throw it away i don't know but um i don't know i don't know how i feel about that next is the fenty fat water fenty is rihanna's skincare brand And this is a fat water toner. It is a to pour toning toner serum. So it's like a serum and a toner. It has kind of like a fat texture to it because it's not like super liquidy, but it's like kind of jelly-ish a little bit. Um, I was using this before. I had no issues with it. I didn't really like the way it smelled. It smells kind of like 
whiskey a little bit. I have like a vanilla whiskey smell. I don't like putting stuff like that on my face. Um, I don't like when things taste or like smell like whiskey. I hate whiskey. Um, I stopped using this because one of my coworkers said that it was breaking her out. So I felt like maybe it would do the same to me, even though I don't know if that's true. So I just stopped using it. I just got turned off of it for some reason. I'm not really into fancy skincare. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Next is a retinol product. It's um, Peridor, Peridor uh, Professional 20% Vitamin C Serum. And I've had this for a while. It's not expired yet. I'm just putting it on my chest. I don't really want to put it on my face even though maybe it would be good. It's got ferulic acid, retinol, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, witch hazel, white jelly, mushroom, and vitamin E. Um, but yeah, I just put it like on my chest after my shower. I don't wanna make this too long, so I'm gonna put these three together. These are Glow Recipe products. I'm not done with them yet. Um, I noticed that when I was using this, specifically when I was using the Fresh Soy Cleanser and then using this as well, this is a Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacin in my Dewdrops. These made my face so bright and people would ask me like what I was using. And when my skin was like in its best condition, it was because I used the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser and the Niacinamide Dewdrops. Um, it smells like watermelon. I really like it, so love it. I'm gonna use that. I'm not gonna get rid of these. Um, this is the Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. I think this is for like redness or something. Maybe I put it right here. Um, whoa, I'm red. I was at the river the other yesterday. Um, damn, I didn't know it was that red. Uh, but yeah, I will use that on my shoulder. Maybe I should put some on right now. I don't know. <laughs> it's all red. I feel like I got a freckle. Like, I just got a freckle. Okay, anyways. I don't really have freckles. Um, then I have this Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. And this is for deep hydration and glow. So I will keep using that. And then I got a little mini of the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. I've had the full size of this. I don't know what happened to the packaging. I might have thrown it away a long time ago because I used it a long time ago. I have very little of this, but I am going to use it up. So if I don't want to use it on my face, I'll use it on my neck. Um, Frownies Moisturizer Face and Neck Aloe and Oat, oat, <laughs> oat Gel Cream. Um, this is from the brand Frownies, which is an alternative to Botox. It's like a patch you put right here or like wherever on your face you need a little help. I put it like right here, like in this area. It's like these little triangle little pads. Um, but this is good too. This is very brightening. It smells like wheat germ. I don't know if you know what that is, but... I think that's what it is. It has it. It has wheat germ in it. I'm not in love with the way it smells. I'm just not. It has this very natural scent to it, but I just don't like the way it smells. Um, this was not cheap, um, but I'm going to use it on my neck. I love this. This is the Caudalie Paris Vino Perfect Radiant Serum, um, Complexion Correcting. This is really good, you guys. Um, Caudalie is really pricey. It's from uh, France and you can get this at Sephora. This is so good. Um, I need to just use it up, but um, yeah, I love this. I got this in gratis. Next is a Radiant Glow Face Oil with Jojoba, Argan, and Sea Buckthorn Oil by Derma E Essentials. Um, I got this from HEB in the natural food section and this broke my face out, so it's really heavy. Um, I'm going to use it on my neck or my body. Next is the, I, this used to be my favorite thing in the world. This is the Milani Rose Prep and Brighten. Milani, bring back the Camilla oil. Bring it back. It was so good. Now they only have the rose oil. I think this is out, like, expired. I don't know. Is this expired? Oh, it still smells like roses. Um, I really just want to use all this up, like, honestly. Like, I don't want all this stuff under my sink. I'm just gonna use all the oils, all the oil stuff that I'm showing you. I'm probably just gonna use it on my body, not my face. I only feel comfortable using certain things on my face if I just got it. Like, um, if it's like relatively new. I don't like putting like stuff that's been sitting there like on my face. Um, this is the Shine Essence Brightening Skin Balance with Marine Plants by Sora B. This is a Korean brand and it's just like a Shine Essence. So, I don't know how I feel about this. Um... I don't know. I don't know. 
Tatcha Rice Wash. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like their face polish either. I tried samples of the deep one and the classic one and they just melt too fast. If I'm going to use a scrub, I want it to really exfoliate, which brings me to my point that the Tatcha Rice Wash has little exfoliating granules in it or rice or whatever, but it doesn't really do anything. So I don't know why they put it in here. Like, I don't understand that. It's like not dense enough. It's not dispersed. Um, like in a, in a balanced way. Um, I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I don't really like it. This I will probably never use again, even though it's brand new. I have two of these. Um, this is a Sephora brightening eye cream and this pills under makeup, like no other, like what, I don't know. I don't even want to talk about that. Um, next is something that I do like. It's the Kiehl's ultra facial cream. I love the Kiehl's ultra facial cream. It has no fragrance to it. It's super simple. So, oops, oops. I didn't mean to do that. I have nails. I forgot I have nails. Uh, um, it's very like, this is nice for like unisex. So like if your boyfriend that's stri uh, straight or whatever do doesn't want to like get like something like girly, um, this one's really good because um, it has no fragrance and it's unis It's like, everything is unisex, but like this, this has no fragrance or anything. It's not like flowery or anything like that. So I think a lot of guys will like this. Again, again, it's the um, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Um, they have one with SPF too, which I kind of want to try. Almost done, you guys. Um, I'm like shooting through this. I'm powering through this because this is like the 300th time I filmed this video. And it was really hard to get started. But now that I've got the ball rolling, I feel so much better. So I'm sorry if I have like an attitude. Okay. Clinique. Take the day off cleansing balm. I love the original one. This is the charcoal one. I don't really know the purpose of it, why why this is this color, um, but it makes your face look like, like this. And I like this product. I would probably never repurchase it again though because I don't see why they had to have like a charcoal version. I guess it's like a, it has purifying properties or something. This works really good, like the cleansing, the original cleansing balm, but I prefer the clear one because I don't want color all over my face. So, um, it makes a mess like all over the sink. Uh, Laneige lip sleeping mask. I used to have the um, full size of this um, lip mask. Um, I rarely use this, and I like the berry one. I just really, if I were to have a choice, I would probably use the sweet candy one, which is the pink one, or the gummy bear one. I really quite like. Um, but I'm gonna, I need to start using this because like I just want to see. It's like award winning, so like everybody loves this. Um, when I had the, the original, the, oh my God, when I had the full size one, um, I felt like it was just sitting on my lips and I didn't really like that. So I will have to reuse that and see. Um, this is my favorite facial cleanser of all time in the whole world. This is the fresh soy face cleanser. This is a jumbo size I bought. I love this cleanser. It takes off all your makeup, not a smidgen of makeup on your face when you use this. Um, it has amino acids to exfoliate. I freaking, oh, I love this. I need to get this again. I need to get this again. Okay, you guys, this is the Derm, Dermatica. I, I did a subscription of this. It's like $30 each. Um, this is the tretinoin and niacinamide. Tretinoin dries out my skin so much and I don't think it helps with breakouts at all. I put this over like if I have like a breakout and it does nothing, it just makes it it doesn't work or like it makes it worse. So this is supposed to be very anti-aging, um, but it's just, it's not worth the dryness. It's not worth the pain in the ass that it is. Um, this is the Age Reverses Gel Cleanser by Dr. Cetona, Dr. Cetona by Pharmacy again. Um, I haven't used this. I might just throw this away. Um, it's just like a cleanser. Three things from The Ordinary that I hardly touch. Um, this is the aloe 2% solution. Actually, I'm using this right now. Um, I got this from my manager and friend and she put this in a little goodie bag thing that um, if anyone wanted to take any of the products, they could. So I chose this one because I'm fond of aloe. Um, I like aloe for the skin, so I'm gonna use this. It's for like blemish prone skin. This one is the organic cold press Moroccan argan oil. I bought this with my own money and I, I like argan oil. But this smells like chemicals, so I don't know how I feel about that. Um, this is the Ordinary The Buffet Copper Peptides. I hardly have any of this left, but I'm going to use it because copper peptides are very anti-aging, I suppose. 
Um, this is the UFO acne treatment oil by Sunday Riley. I, this is already like empty, um, but probably wouldn't buy that. Um, and then this is a face mask by Pharmacy Dr. C. Tuna. It's like a beauty face mask. I don't really like this, so I'm probably gonna get rid of it. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. I don't wanna watch this video, like I don't wanna film it. Um, sorry, I am not like in the mood to film this video. It's because I literally tried to film this so many times, I feel like a broken record. Um, but anyways, thank you for getting through with it. If you even enjoyed this at all, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to see more from me. I promise to make more exciting videos. Um, I'm just done with this. So thank you for watching. Namaste. The universe is on your side. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.